it to replace a set of batteries in the NAC panel. Alright, uh, don't turn this video off. Y yeah, we all know how to replace batteries, right? Now, now we're going to show you the proper way to replace batteries. Okay, so you can see right now that we have our one light lit, yellow light. Um, as you can see over here, it says low or missing battery. Okay, uh, our battery has been disconnected. We're going to go ahead and remove our battery terminals and get our old batteries out. Interesting enough, just for curiosity, I'd like to read the voltage. There's one at 12.92. Not too bad. They should be around 13 something or the other. That's 12.92. Let's see what the other one has to say. Ten ninety nine. Ah, there's the bad battery right there. It's always one of the two batteries that go bad. Uh, I guess most importantly enough, we want to go ahead and um, pack these old batteries up. Um, if you don't have these little things, I'm taking them off of the new batteries that we're replacing. Um, if you don't have the little plastic things or if you don't have the box, be a good idea to use some electrical tape and tape up the terminals. Uh, there's plenty of safety issues, safety bulletins that came out on batteries rolling around a truck and I'm sure you all seen the picture of the, uh, the, the service truck catching on fire because the batteries rolled around and shorted out on the shelves. So I like to put them back in the original box and put the things on there and now we can you know, take these old batteries and turn them back in. So, Alright now First of all, let's check the new batteries. You always want to replace these as a pair, okay? If you don't want to get two odd batteries or batteries of different years because the good battery uh, or the weaker of the two batteries will always call for a charge and overcharge the better battery and then uh, they, both, they both wind up failing. So if they're perfectly even with each another, they'll, they'll call for an even charge and uh, they'll last a lot longer. And I want to check the voltage on there, 1294 for this one, okay, and the polarity is correct, red is red, black is black, because a long time ago, I actually, they, they did make a mistake one time, and the black was actually, they painted the terminals wrong, and the black was actually positive, and, and uh, that, I always look out for that, because when I hooked it up, I got a big spark, it blew the fuse, I had to run back to the van and get another fuse, and, you know, I just don't want, I just, I just like to eliminate any uh, stuff that I don't need to do. I guess that's experience right there. 1292 for the other battery. So 1294. So they are, I don't know, four tenths of a volt difference, which we don't want it to be a half a volt difference because then that's, uh, that's uh, going to be an issue. Now, before we put these batteries in, uh, what we want to do is we want to check our charger voltage. Okay, uh, this is something. Yeah. Got a lot of technicians, you know, it gets near the end of the day um, and they, uh, you know, they slap a set of batteries in and, and they get the hell out of there. You know, and next week they're back there for the same problem again because, hey, the charging circuit went bad on the board. And uh, sometimes you check this and it doesn't say anything. Well, this one here says 28. Uh, this one's saying 2803. Okay, now that's a little bit high, so there's a little adjustment screw down here. Um, and I'm going, it's a battery, it's a charger adjustment, and I'm going to adjust that, and I'm going to bring this thing down to the factory recommended setting of 27.6. You know, I think I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I don't think I can get that tenth of a volt out of there. So 27.59, you know, that's really good. That's the recommended uh, voltage setting. Okay, now. Here's one other thing that I like to do while I'm changing these batteries out. Um, I like to check these screws because a lot of times they're loose. A lot of times these screws are loose. Okay, and uh, and the thing is, is you know the way Simplex, you know the factory wires these, they they strip these things out real short. They're barely long enough to go into the screw there, and they're they're on one side of the screw. 
Um, so one other thing I want to do here is I want to, I, I just want to go ahead and put a little pressure on these and just pinch these in a little bit, all these terminals, because I want them to fit tightly on the battery. And don't pinch it, don't push it too far because you'll never get it on a battery, but sometimes these things are loose and the, the most important part of you know, a good battery and lasting a long time is to make sure that we have a good connection. Good connections are very important. You know, weak connections, you know, we don't want weak connections. So I like to just go through all these real quick and just double check and make sure that they're nice and tight. Okay, one more to go. Alright. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take these guys here. Now, this is something that I do personally. Uh, I like to do, I like to strip this thing out a little bit longer. Okay. I'm going to strip these out just a little bit longer. Okay. And the thing is, it's a, it's a, like a 12 or a 10 gauge wire. Okay, and you're putting it on one side of the screw, and it's so lopsided to me. So, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and kind of divide these strands up. Kind of divide it, you know, so I got two sides here. Okay, twist that real good together there. Twist them both there. Spread them apart and then put that in the middle there like that and bring that up. I got me a nice little fork there. Yeah. Okay, let's do the same thing with the positive terminal. Let's try to get it somewhat even. Okay, twist them up. Stick that in there and we got a little fork there. Okay. Now. The lighting is kind of poor in this room here, so I can't remember which one, positive and negative. Positive on the left, negative on the right. Okay. Let me go ahead and put that negative in first. So we'll go ahead and loosen these screws up. Loosen that up nice and good. Okay. I do have that right, don't I? Let's get that fork in there real good. Okay, I didn't tighten it tight. I'm going to get that positive one in there now. Let's loosen that up. I said the, the room we're in today, the lighting is it's not the best. Very careful and get that in there. There we go. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, I always like to double check myself because, you know, I'm talking and doing this video and sometimes my concentration isn't there all the way and, and I always mess up on the stupid things. You know, let's, let's make sure that we got the right polarity. Yep, 27 points. Oh, 27 points. All right, so we got them in there now and we're going to tighten the screws up. Uh, what I want to do is wiggle these wires a little bit. Let these strands settle themselves in, and you'll notice that you know, I get another quarter to a half turn on these screws. Do it one more time. And, uh, we're looking good. We don't want to over tighten anything because that connector is weak on the board. Okay, looks like it's time for it's it's battery time now. So we'll go ahead and that's another thing I got to pay attention to because I'll I'll be talking to somebody hooking these things up and I'll hook them all up incorrectly. That feels nice and tight when it went in there. That's what I want. Yeah, we like tight. You know? Nice and tight. Okay. Now the way the, the charging circuit on these systems works. Okay, positive. We want to take the white wire to negative. Sorry about that. I'll make sure I'm concentrating on what I'm doing. Okay, the charging circuit, what it does on all simplex panels is it's going to charge for 90 seconds and then at the end of the 90 seconds it's going to 
it's going to stop charging and it's going to measure the voltage and it's going to put a short on the voltage for one second and then it's going to measure the voltage again and compare the two voltages if there's too much of a difference it will say low battery that's the the ability to say the battery can't hold a charge so you can have a low battery and still be normal because the panels test the integrity of the battery uh, rather than just the voltage but every 90 seconds so when i hook this up that light don't go out right away. We're somewhere in our 90 second cycle right now. But in a few seconds that should go out. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and put the date on here. And we love doing this, taking our black magic marker and putting a date on a black battery. We can see that real good. But uh, my white marker uh, went bad and the boss hasn't got me a new one yet. So I'm still waiting on that, buddy. Uh, it looks like our light is out, and it looks like everything is really looking good. So now we can go ahead and close her up, and uh, I can walk away from this one, feel good about it, and won't have to worry about. Um, anything going, anything going bad. Let me get this phone call. I'll talk to you later.